Maine's only youth prison is at the center of three bills this year at the State House. That facility is also a jail and a school. Long Creek Youth Development Center has been in hot water recently over its treatment of employees and children incarcerated there. New Center Maine's Jack Mulmott explains one of the bills which would slowly move money from the prison into what lawmakers are calling community-based care. It's not like school, so you know, if schools would like this and people could see that, then they'll, they would take their kids out and homeschool them immediately. <laughs> Sky Gosselin stayed at Long Creek Youth Development Center as a child, and for the last few years, she's had one goal. We don't want to see Long Creek be used for any incarceration for anyone. Now there's a bill that if it's passed as is, it would force the Department of Corrections to come up with individualized care for each child incarcerated at Long Creek. For context, just a few dozen juveniles currently stay there. But the bill's sponsor, Representative Grayson Luckner, says that makes more of a case for care catered to each youth. I don't know that the Department of Corrections is willing to do that, uh, but we're asking them to. And I think, uh, you know, despite the progress they've made in recent years, it's just asked them to kind of hurry the process. In a public hearing for the bill, the Department of Corrections Commissioner Randall Liberty said this bill would lead to a, quote, dangerous prospect. His testimony went on to say there needs to be a place for violent youth to be held. Quote, it's a false narrative to think the state can close a facility, redistribute funds, and suddenly no longer have violent young people. It doesn't um, call for the closure of Law Creek, it's just a plan. Back in the fall, documents obtained by New Center Maine show staff at Long Creek were in such short supply and working such long hours, the prison allowed employees to sleep in housing that was meant for girls transitioning out of the prison. That same housing cost the state $2 million. Now, public records also showed few girls ever even used that facility. That's the time in the community where you learn how to drive, where you learn how to get a job. How are you supposed to join into the community at an adult age and know how to be an adult? You just can't. Gosselin says that no matter the crime, youth cannot be put behind bars. And as a formerly incarcerated youth, she says individualized care is the future. In Augusta, Jack Momud, New Center, Maine. The Maine Sheriff's Office Association also opposed to this bill. The two other bills would create similar solutions outside of youth incarceration. Now, one of those bills is sponsored by House Speaker Rachel Talbot Ross. Organizers hope the final law, if passed, can be a combination of the three bills.